Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I wanted to chat about my favorite pastels in my collection. I have 12 palettes that I wanna chat about with you. Some of them are 100% pastel focused, some of them just have pops of pastel that I do find myself reaching for when I want that vibe, and I'm excited to share them with you. I will also be including comparisons of all of the palettes that I talk about today at the end of the video, just so you can see all the different like pastels in each color range paired together. Um, and I hope that'll be helpful for you. It's been a few years since I did like a battle of the pastel palette. So this is kind of like an updated version, if you will. I don't know if I'm gonna rank these per se, but I will make like notes to mention like my absolute favorites once I get through talking about all of them. Before we get into it, I did of course film this look. It should already be on my channel by the time this video goes up. It's part of my two looks with the Bella Beauty Bar Pastel Garden Palette. As far as my accessories today, I don't know where this choker's from, unfortunately. These plugs are Love Kills Boutique, and these earrings are Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy. So yeah, without further ado, let's chat about my favorite pastel palettes in my collection. So I just have these in alphabetical order so I could sort through them easier. And the first one happens to be what I'm wearing right now, the Bella Beauty Bar Pastel Garden. This is enormous, but it's fantastic. It looks like this. It is 36 shades of pastel magic. Like I mentioned, I have a two looks video with this on my channel already, and I have videos with all of the palettes that I'm mentioning today on my channel already. Between my channel, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff, I have usually multiple looks with everything, so you can go check those out if you need some inspo. But this one is fantastic. I feel like their mattes got so much better with this palette just from what I've experienced in the past. They weren't bad before, but they are so much better now. These were dreamy to work with. They are so pigmented for being pastels and they just blend so creamy on the lid. I love this and the shimmers are just jaw dropping. They're so shifty and sparkly and I don't know if I want to say this is my number one favorite pastel palette yet because I've only just begun using it but I can see this being a very good like ultimate pastel palette because it just has everything. It has all the different undertones. The formula is so good and I'm really pleased with that and that is coming from someone who doesn't typically prefer larger palettes i do prefer more of like 9 to 15 is kind of my sweet spot but i'm very very impressed with this i think it's fantastic next up speaking of large palettes um all the blend bunny palettes have such a good row of pastels in all of them i'm mostly talking about her four most colorful palettes in this video she does have two neutral palettes as well that of course have lighter shades but I don't really consider those like pastels because they're like light neutrals, you know what I mean? I wanted to focus more on the colorful palettes where it's like true like pastel light versions of the bright colors. So we have the blends palette to start with. Unfortunately, my poor yellow here is disintegrating, but this row of pastels in the center, I guess two rows of pastels in the center, they're so good. Blend Bunny's matte formula is just one of the best formulas in my entire collection. And again, even though this isn't a solely pastel palette, I felt like I had to talk about it because one of the things that I would definitely reach for if I was wanting to play with pastels is my Blend Bunny palettes. So I feel like I had to give them a shout out. Wanted to include them in this video, especially for like the comparisons later. I love this one. Next is the Lure palette. This one is so cute. And I just felt like this row right here was just such a good row of cool tone pastels. I love the pink, green, blue, purple vibe. It's so pretty. Even some of these shimmers up here, I consider to be a little pastel-y because they have like such a light reflect to them. So I included some of those in the comparisons later for the shimmers. I just adore this palette. I think it's again, just so wonderful. The mattes blend out so good. And these pastels are just so cute. Next is the Primal palette. She came out with this to be the like sister palette to the blends. It kind of fills in the gaps of things the blends palette didn't have add some additional undertones and of course some additional pastels that whole row on the top is so dreamy to me I just want to eat it this palette in particular just looks like candy to me it is so good like it looks like a candy necklace up here it's so so cute but again I can't say enough good things about the formula, but these were just such good pastels and I had to, had to, had to shout them out in this video. And last being the Surge palette. This was my first palette I ever tried from them and I'm still to this day so glad that I bought this. These are a little bit more like dustier, grungier pastels, if you will. They have a little bit more of that like just dusty vibe to them and I just love them. I think they're so cool, so unique. I feel like a lot of the time pastels tend to lean on like the brighter side, but I like a good muted dusty shade as well. And these add something so cool, not to mention this whole palette is just 
amazing. We have the pastels, mids, the super deep shades, the pops of neon. It's all amazing. I, I'm just obsessed. So that is enough of my Blend Bunny obsession. They have amazing pastels in pretty much every palette and I'm here for it. Moving on next is a palette that, again, isn't like fully a pastel palette, but it had enough pastels in it and it makes it really fun and unique to play with that I wanted to include it in this video. It's the Game Beauty Fantasy Palette. I just love the artwork on these palettes. They're so cute. The inside looks like this. For me, I always consider this to be kind of like a winter into spring kind of palette because we have those really pretty wintry moody blues into those brighter fun pops of pastel. I think this is so fun to work with. The shimmers are gorgeous in here, especially this marbled darker blue, which obviously isn't a pastel, so a little off topic for the video, but overall this is just such a fun palette. I feel like it encompasses a pastel vibe while giving it a little bit more than just being a pastel palette. Going back to a fully pastel palette, we have the Give Me Glow Pastel Dreams. This one is so pretty. I got this as a gift a couple, I think like two years ago um, or so, maybe a year and a half ago, but it's amazing. It is so good. This is one of the first pastel palettes I tried that had like that matching shimmer to matte situation. I feel like a lot of the pastel palettes I tried previously were all matte, which is fine. I feel like that definitely serves its purpose and then you can use just whatever shimmer, but it was really nice seeing this one where you have the equal amount of matte and shimmer going on. These are so like vibrant fluorescent while also being pastel at the same time. Give Me Glow's mattes are just so buttery and rich and pigmented and everything. And these shimmers are just so good. They just have such a good wash of metallic and it's just, it's rich and amazing. And they did such a good job with making this ultra pigmented, but still pastel and it's just so fun. Next up, one of my first pastel palettes I ever had that I still hold so near and dear to my heart is the Nomad Cosmetics Tokyo Harajuku. If this cover does not scream pastel cuteness, I don't know what does. Here we are right here. We have kind of a mixture of like mattes, satins, and then really pretty shifty duochrome sparkly magic. Now this isn't my go-to pastel palette anymore just because as fun as it is, I mostly love this palette nowadays for the shimmers on the bottom. I feel like the ones on the top, like the mattes and satins, they're not my go-to. Like I'd probably reach for other things first. I still have comparisons with a lot of these in the comparisons at the end of the video, but the shimmers are where it's at for me. I feel like they've just improved their mattes and stuff so much nowadays that these aren't what I wanna reach for from Nomad, but these shimmers are still something so special. They are so shifty and sparkly, and this used to bring me so much joy, and it still brings me a lot of joy. It was my number one favorite from them for quite a while, and it's still definitely up there just because, even though it's not my go-to, there are some really special things about this one. Oh, and those shimmers are just too, too good. They're just the most beautiful, iridescent, toppery, sparkly goodness I love. Moving on now to the Creepy Cute palettes. I am obsessed with these. The Creepy Cute palette has been my favorite pastel palette for years. It is just unbeatable. And last year, Shroud came out with the Creepy Cute too. They also sent me like a repackaged version of Creepy Cute because it used to be slightly larger packaging, but she repackaged it to like match better. So I have a new one, but my other one was like, so used and abused. Like I had so many dents in all of those shades. I think my void was even hitting pan. But here's the original Creepy Q. It's just perfection. It is everything that I needed. I loved that there was a black and gray in here and this black is like my favorite black of all time. Now I will say, you don't wanna just like deepen a pastel with black expecting it to like make a darker version. Like you can't mix the black with this like baby blue and expect it to be a dark blue. That's not really how it works. They're so white based that when you mix like a pastel with a black, it just like blends into gray. It doesn't blend into like a darker version of that color. But that's not to say I don't love having the black and gray in here. They're super saturated, super blendable. It gives you the ability to do kind of grungified pastel looks and it's just fantastic. I will always say strawberry milk makes such a good blush and I'm still hoping Chloe one day releases like blushes and has one that's themed around strawberry milk because it's so cute. Um, but yeah, this is so fantastic. They're so pigmented, similar to Give Me Glow in the sense that you can build them up to be so bright and fluorescent, but also pastel. And it's just, it's a treat to work with. And her coming out with the Creepy Cute 2 last year was just everything that I needed. It added so much more to the original Creepy Cute and I'm obsessed. I love seeing a yellow. There's just something about yellow with pastels. It's just everything to me. I love the unique colors in here. I like this weird dingy green. I like kind of the teal and this periwinkly blue kind of shade. 
it's all so good i love this this was such a good compliment to the creepy cute this one does have a little more depth to it so it's not like as true of pastels but i feel like it was still in that vibe and in that realm that i wanted to include that in this video and you'll see in the swatches later they definitely still offer a purpose to be with pastels um, and it's just everything I love and finally last but not least we have the sugar pill fun size palettes these ones I feel like you can use them in a way to where they do apply very like pastel-y and soft but you can build them up to again be very vibrant and rich and you kind of get the best of both worlds first being the fun size palette which I'm pretty sure this got discontinued and I didn't know that until recently and I'm like pretty bummed about it like why would you discontinue this it's perfect but it is so cute nine pans it's adorable again this one can get pretty almost neon looking as you build them up but you can also wear them super pastel they blend so nicely if you have this in your collection since it's already discontinued please use this soon like it's just so good. And then the fun size two, this one came out, I think like a year or two ago. It's been a little while now, but it's kind of just a good continuation to the other one, similar to like the creepy cute and creepy cute too. This just adds something a little different while also complementing the original so well. I love this peachy shade so much. I love the bright yellow. I love this dingy green. There are so many good things about this palette and the two of them together are just a match made in heaven. And I'm pretty sure this one's still available. I'll link everything that I can down below. Off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure the only one of these that got discontinued is the original fun size, but I'll link everything that I can down below. Um, if I had to pick like an absolute favorite, it's probably still gonna be the Creepy Cute. I just, it holds such a near and dear place in my heart. Creepy Cute too, like being such a good compliment. Like these two together are just like, a power couple for me like i simply just can't get enough of that that is such a perfect range of colors so fantastic i feel like my next pick for like a true true pastel palette that would be like one of my favorites definitely the pastel dreams from give me glow especially if you just want those true rich vibrant pastels like this doesn't have like unique tones or anything per se but if you want just like really true rich pastels with matching shimmers this is definitely a good one to go for not to mention the pink and orange are beautiful blushes <laughs> obviously the blend bunny palettes i love for a lot of reasons not even just the pastels i think these are just fantastic palettes one of my favorite brands of all time so if you're looking for just really good brights palettes with an amazing gradient these would be good to look for too but i wouldn't say those just for the pastels like if you're only into pastels you wouldn't get a ton of use out of those palettes but they just offer something so good. And then again, very recently, it's hard for me to say this is a total favorite yet since I haven't used everything in it yet, but I've used a good bit of it. And just judging by what I know about this palette already, the Pastel Garden from Bella Beauty Bar truly is something special, even though it's way larger than I typically wanna go for for a palette. It really is wonderful so far. I'm loving how everything blends out. In my two looks video, you can just watch them all blend together so seamlessly that it was just, a dream to work with and i'm super happy about my picks now you might be wondering betty jean where's the menagerie pastel pup i decluttered that last year if you saw my 2022 makeup collection and declutter series in my palette declutter i did end up decluttering that one just because i was reaching a point where i had a lot of pastels in my collection obviously based on today's video like i think this is the only one that's new to me well and the lore i got the lore this year as well um but I had a lot in the Menagerie one. I feel like while there were things I really liked about it, there were some things that I didn't like. I felt like the orange and the peachy orange shade were almost too pastel that on my pale skin, they just blended into my skin. I saw that they worked a lot nicer on like medium to darker skin tones, but on me, they were basically nothing. And as you can see, like this bright yellow is, it's doing its thing. And same with the, the orange on this eye. Um, but overall, yeah, it just wasn't my favorite one anymore. It wasn't horrible by any means. Like if you have the pastel pup, I love that for you. I have lots of videos if you need inspo, um, but I just didn't feel like I needed it anymore. So I don't have it to do comparisons, but we are now gonna jump to the comparisons with what I do have. I'll be going over like all the different colors of the rainbow that's in the pastel world, and hopefully it'll be helpful for you. All right, time for some swatches, my friends. So all five of these on the top over here are from the Bella Beauty Bar Pastel Garden Palette. And then moving on to this section are all from Blend Bunny. These two right here are from the Blends palette. This one is from Lure. These two are from Primal. 
and this one is from Surge. Moving on to the bottom row, this one down here is from the Game Beauty Fantasy Palette. This one next to it is from the Give Me Glow Pastel Palette. This one right here is from the Nomad Cosmetics Tokyo Harajuku. That one's a little bit more of a satin, but I wanted to pair it with the mattes rather than the shimmers. This one right here is from Shroud Cosmetics Creepy Cute, and this one is from Shroud Cosmetics Creepy Cute too. And then getting to these last three, the first two are from the Sugar Pill Original Fun Size, and then this one over here is from Fun Size 2. And then moving on to the pink shimmers, this first one is from the Bella Beauty Bar Pastel Garden. This second one is from the Lure Palette from Blend Bunny. The third one here is from the Give Me Glow Pastel Palette, and then this one over here is from the Nomad Cosmetics Tokyo Harajuku palette. Moving on to my peachy orangey pastels now. The first two over here are from the Bella Beauty Bar Pastel Garden. This next one is from the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Blends palette. This fourth one is from the Game Beauty Fantasy palette. This very bright one is from the Give Me Glow Pastel palette. This one right here is from the Nomad Cosmetics Tokyo Harajuku. This one is Shroud Creepy Cute. The darker one is Shroud Creepy Cute too. This bright mango-y shade is from the Sugar Pill Fun Size. And these last two bright peachy ones are from the Fun Size 2. And then for the lovely peachy orangey shimmers, the first two are from the Bella Beauty Bar Pastel Garden. This third one is from the Blend Bunny Lure Palette. And this last one is from the pastel palette from Give Me Glow. Moving on to yellow. I have way more pastel yellows than I used to, and I love that. So these first three are from that Bella Beauty Bar Pastel Garden. This next one is from the Blend Bunny Blends Palette. The one next to it is from the Blend Bunny Primal Palette. This one right here is from the Game Beauty Fantasy Palette. And the super saturated one next to it is from the Pastel Palette from Give Me Glow. This next one is from the Tokyo Harajuku Palette from Nomad Cosmetics. This brighter yellow is from the Creepy Cute 2 from Shroud Cosmetics. This yellow is from Fun Size from Sugar Pill, and the last yellow is Fun Size 2 from Sugar Pill. And then I only have three shimmers to talk about, the first one being from the Bella Beauty Bar Pastel Garden, second one being from the Pastel Palette from Give Me Glow. I keep calling it the Pastel Palette, it's the Pastel Dreams. It's all pastel. <laughs> and then this last one is from the Tokyo Harajuku from Nomad Cosmetics. Moving on now to kind of like my minty light greens and some of the like turquoisey shades that I personally felt like leaned more green than blue. I feel like turquoise is always one that gets people riled up on whether it leans more blue or green. These are the ones I just felt in my soul lumped more on the green side than the blue side, but it's not that serious. <laughs> so these first four are from the Bella Beauty Bar Pastel Garden. Next up, we have Blend Bunny Blends Palette, Blend Bunny Lure Palette, Blend Bunny Primal Palette, and the Blend Bunny Surge Palette. And then this last one on the top row is from the Pastel Dreams from Give Me Glow. Moving on to the bottom, these two are both from the Nomad Cosmetics Tokyo Harajuku. These two are from the Shroud Cosmetics Creepy Cute, and the one next to it is from Creepy Cute 2. And then these two over here are from the Sugar Pill Fun Size, and these two over here are from the Fun Size 2. And then moving on to some shimmers, these first two are from the Pastel Garden Palette from Bella Beauty Bar. This middle one is from the Lure Palette from Blend Bunny. This one is from the Pastel Dreams from Give Me Glow. And then this last one is from the Tokyo Harajuku. A lot of these are very shifty and aren't necessarily like true green because they have multiple shifts to them, but I felt like the underlying vibe of them was more green than anything. Moving on to my pastel blues, also some periwinkles that again I kind of felt leaned a little more blue. And then there's a couple teals as well that I felt leaned more blue than green. So again, it's not that serious, but this whole chunk over here is from the Bella Beauty Bar Pastel Garden. Over here we have all Blend Bunny. The first two are from the Blends Palette. The second two are from the Lure Palette. And this last one is from the Surge Palette. Down here we have the Game Beauty Fantasy Palette and the Give Me Glow Pastel Garden. Over here we have Shroud Cosmetics. The first one is from the Creepy Cute. The second two are from Creepy Cute 2. And then last we have Sugar Pill Fun Size and Sugar Pill Fun Size 2. And then moving into shimmers, the first two are from the Bella Beauty Bar Pastel Garden. These next two are both from the Blend Bunny Lure Palette. And the last one on the end is from the Give Me Glow Pastel Dreams. And finally, moving on to my lavendery purples. As you can see, some of them lean more pink, some of them lean more blue. Um, the ones that lean more pink, I just felt like were more purple than the pink, so they fit this section better. And then same with the bluey purple ones. Like I felt like they fit this more. Um, so yeah, these first three are from Bella Beauty Bar Pastel Garden. 
These are all from Blend Bunny. This first one being from the Blend, the second one being from the Lure, these two being from the Primal, and the last one being from the Surge. Down here we have the Give Me Glow Pastel Dreams, then we have the Nomad Cosmetics Tokyo Harajuku. This first one over here is from the Shroud Cosmetics Creepy Cute, second one is from Creepy Cute 2. And then over here we have Sugar Pill Fun Size and Sugar Pill Fun Size 2. And then moving on to the shimmers on my hands. Oh, that's like such an overwhelming amount of shimmer. <laughs> the first three are all from the Bella Beauty Bar Pastel Garden. This fourth one is from the Blend Bunny Lure Palette. The fifth one is from the Give Me Glow Pastel Dreams. And then the two on the end are from the Nomad Cosmetics Tokyo Harajuku. I really hope these swatches were helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching my video, kind of chatting about my favorite pastel palettes in my collection. These bring me so much joy. I love that we're in pastel season, even though I don't love hot weather. <laughs> I'm definitely an autumn and winter kind of girly. I do appreciate certain things about spring. I like seeing bright colors everywhere. I like I don't know, I do like the vibes of spring, even though I don't like the weather that it accompanies it. <laughs> I would love to hear your thoughts though. Do you have any of these pastel palettes? Do you want any of these pastel palettes? If you already own some, what are your favorite pastels in your collection? I would love to hear it from you down below. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave me some pastel emojis? And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos. I'm posting most days here as well. I also have channel memberships. If you wanna join, there will be a link down below. You'll get a cute little that badge next to your name, exclusive emojis, and access to a members only get ready with me once a month where you will help me decide what to use. You can also follow me on my other socials. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. I thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Okay, bye. You know, I'm gonna get that one person that's just like, angry that I didn't include like a specific pastel shade in my collection. Let the record show. These are just my favorites. It's not every pastel the world has ever seen. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't have to say that, but there's always that one person. <laughs>